I've got another little uh, story or a little predicament that I've found myself in and um, I like to do these videos just so I can uh, see what other people's experiences have been as well. Now ultimately I know the decision will be down to me and uh, what I decide to do um, but I do find it quite fun just reading through everyone's stories and uh, I'm sure this has happened to other people. So I took over a garden uh, last year, at the beginning of last year, so I've been doing it about a year and a half now. Customers spot on payment wise. Uh, I have had an issue in the past with dog poo and I've had to tell them and uh, there's there's been, well not just an improvement, they've, they've sorted it out basically and uh, I don't have to pick anything up. Um, I did charge them uh, a tenner a couple of times just to say look I can't be doing this, I will have to pack in the garden, uh, which I didn't want to do because it was a canny little garden, didn't take long and uh, she said right really sorry happy to pay the extra tenner blah 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 you know she's a, she's a canny enough woman the problem is though um the garden now looks just a bit of a state a little bit of a mess and it's, it's not my doing um so there's a few bushes there's a there's a like a conifer well not not really a tree, conifer bush type thing hedge sort of um and uh, you know she used to have flowers and bits and pieces and uh, it used to look really nice after I'd given it a good cut, cut everything back. It was um, you know it was a nice little garden. But she's got this son who um, I think kind of has little projects like, sort of to keep him busy and so I'll give you a few examples. So they used to have, no sorry they didn't used to have, uh, there's a bush, a little bush uh, that I think the dog so this isn't the sun, this is the dog. So the dog clearly sits on it. So I used to trim it. Uh, they've, it's a puppy, I think. So I think they got it three or four months ago. And the dog clearly sits on top and it's all spread out. It looks horrible, it's crap. Um, one time I trimmed the, it's like a laurel. So I trimmed that back. Fine, it looked lovely. Um, I trimmed lots of hedges, lots of bushes and they all look nice. Um, the next visit I went back and it had been cut back more, hacked, you know, not a good job. It was um, bare patches and wasn't uniformed. And I thought, why someone's just like redone it? No need. Uh, didn't say anything because I never say them. It's always like I always kind of have to message us occasionally. I say, I'll see her. Um, so, yeah, so that was, you know, something I didn't particularly like because, you know, that's the thing if someone comes in and you know oh, I get a gardener in a doing a garden and the garden looks crap that's on me that you know that that is on me they think oh he's done a crap job of that bush hasn't he <laughs> you know what I mean um they put a greenhouse a kind of one of those crappy plastic greenhouses in the in the corner uh that's just kind of dropping a bit and looks rubbish um what else have they done there's like yeah they've just added bits to the garden like that are a mess like loads of bags of compost a potting table thing just on the lawn not in the middle like on the side um loads of pots underneath you know and it's it's just messy it's just messy and it reflects on me as a gardener but i do believe it's their right obviously to get a gardener in and then to do what they want with a garden it's their garden at the end of the day i do believe that so then it's up to me I guess to make a decision whether I want to keep going because as I say it's a, it's a good earner uh, they pay every time same day usually and uh, it doesn't take us that long so um, in terms of profitability efficiency you know it's it's spot on it's, it's what you want as a gardener but you know the end result now um, it's not very good now the dug a couple of bits up as well they had like a couple of um, what they were and that was a while ago some sort of a, a ground covering uh, perennial flower uh, I can't remember the name um, but you know they, they dug that up and it's it's now bare earth that looks crap you know and I, I've kind of said do you want it seeding do you want to do something with it um, they're not that bothered that's fair enough again um, but yeah it just reflects on me really as a gardener uh, it doesn't look particularly good so I'm sure uh, you guys have had similar issues and as I say it's up to me what I do I know that I just want to hear your stories really so yeah 
uh, put them in the comments. Um, if you're new to the channel, feel free to have a look around. I'm sure I've got other videos that you'll like. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you got this far. And don't forget to subscribe as well if you haven't already. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Alright, cheers guys. Bye. Bye.